Hello guys, welcome to Python and Machine Learning Daily. Today let's talk about libraries that we import in Python and how to transfer those libraries for other people to use them. For example, if you want to put your Python code on GitHub and someone else would clone it and want to run it locally, they wouldn't necessarily have those libraries installed on their machine. So how to get that list of libraries needed for that script to other people. And for that, it's common to use a file called requirements.txt. In this video, I will show you how to generate it with PyCharm. So first, the problem. I will demonstrate you the problem. For example, you put that script on your GitHub. In this case, it doesn't matter what that script does. It's a Python script with Flask and other libraries imported. And then someone else clones it to their machine. And this is exactly what I've done behind the scenes. So their salaries predict clone. And you can see everything is underlined by PyCharm because those libraries are not installed. And of course, that developer can install libraries one by one. So hover over in PyCharm and then install package. But what if there are 20 packages? It's not convenient. Is there a way to install all packages at once and to have a list from somewhere? So let's do exactly that. In our main project, we can export the libraries in two ways with PyCharm. First, menu item tools and sync Python requirements. It would generate requirements TXT and you may specify specific versions if you need them. But in this case, I will not do that. I click OK and then we have new requirements TXT with the list of libraries that are used in this project. Another way not from menu item, let's actually delete that requirements txt and create it as a new file. So if you go new file requirements txt, PyCharm would automatically detect that it's requirements txt and suggest you to add imported packages, which would call actually the same dialog and the same result. So two ways in PyCharm. And now if we open that cloned project with requirements txt in it from GitHub, then not only is it underlined, but also PyCharm shows the list of those requirements. And all you need to do is click install requirements, confirm that you want all of those, and then you would be ready up and running for the script in just a few clicks. Everything is installed under the hood, but that new developer doesn't need to install libraries one by one. So just as a good practice, if you are putting your Python scripts on GitHub or somewhere else online, always include requirements.txt so others would know what libraries or which specific versions of those libraries are required. That's it for this time. Subscribe to the channel to get more Python and machine learning tips and see you guys in other videos.